Hey guys, today I'm going to, I wanted to talk about the Walmart scam, but it turns out that Target is being scammed more, so I cannot title this exactly why I want to title it. I would have titled it Walmart Scam, Advanced Level. But now I have to Target, tar, nah, now I have to title it Target Scam. So apparently in Target, they have actually more expertise. I don't really know, but I'm going to put some images where they take out cards and they put them back in and the cards are so good. I mean, the person who originally posted it, he felt like it was a manufacturer era. Like he felt like nothing was tampered with and Wizards of Coast sent him a pack with just all white cards, as you can see from here. And then only when people online told him, hey, hey, no, no, that's not what probably happened because that doesn't happen like this. Uh, the guy was going to contact Wizards, get a new pack. Like it was so good. He felt like which is a coast made a pack, or it was so unnoticed. Because like, assuming you open a pack, wouldn't you know that like, it's been already opened? Like I open a lot of packs and I don't, like if I open a pack like that, I would be like, wait a second, this pack has already been opened. Um, yeah, but anyway, they cut the, they cut right into the middle of it and I've seen the pictures, so hopefully I'll show you pictures of it. But I've seen this a lot at Targets, um, mainly because Targets, I think what happens with um, Target, uh, just like baseball. So to give you an example, I don't, I've don't. i not seen it as much as I've seen baseball uh, people who go to Targets and Walmarts and they, um, let me get a pack for you guys. But like essentially what they do is they go like this and because autographs and patches feel differently, they spread the card like this. So if you ever go to, go to any Target, go to any Walmart, go to the football, baseball cards and then just hold a pack. A pack is not gonna be like this. You won't feel like this. Every pack I've ever gone to feels like this because they're looking for the valuable cards. Now Pokemon, they weigh, I've seen people sit down and scale packs with like an actual scale. Uh, it sounds ridiculous uh, to think about it, but um, I work really late. So normally when they do it, it's later at night. It's not like in the daytime where no regular people go to Target. So yeah, that's, but they slate it, they slice it with a, so they're using, um, they're definitely not doing with like their fingernails or something. They're using exacto knives. Um, they're using really like sharp, like, I don't know what they're using, but they're using a specific tool to do this. And then they hit every target in the region, and then every target in the region has cards that don't make any sense. Um, so recently, it's not been just one person reporting this on Reddit. There's been several people reporting on the Reddit, and I do feel like uh, it's, another, um, it's another reason to buy locally. Uh, now, locals, they can weigh packs, and they can do, and you might be like, why would they weigh packs? Well, you know, expeditions are heavier than not, right? You can tell the difference between a foil pack and a non-foil pack. And when some foil packs are worth a considerable amount more, yeah, I don't know. But uh, local stores definitely are is a way to go, especially for stores that you trust. Um, how do you, I trust stores because if you play at the store and you've opened enough stuff, you should have a good ratio of like good stuff and bad stuff. But if you go to a store and let's say you buy a lot of singles and you keep pulling the bad stuff, then that's not great. That's the same with Walmart. Again, I, Walmart Target, I cannot say this enough that the guy did not know that the pack was tampered with. He felt it was a man, he opened the pack and he felt it was a manufacturer error until Reddit told him what it probably was. And even then, I think he had some confusion about it, but it definitely is a very common practice. You can find it at Target, Walmart, Walgreens. Uh, Walgreens carries magic cards. Anywhere that carries magic cards and isn't a local store that would know better, kind of is suspect to this. And you might be like, oh, of course I'll know that it's been tampered with and it's been opened with. Uh, in this case, if he had the regular cards and he had the right amount of them and they were the right set, I don't think he would have known. This particular person, I don't feel would have known because he was going to send it back to Wizard of the Coast as a manufactured defect. Uh, and he's an adult, he's not like a little kid. Um, so most people who play Magic, they're not, they're casual players. And most people who buy from Walmart, Target, and you know Walgreens, they're casual players. So they, something that like 
a player who opens a lot of booster packs would notice, they probably wouldn't notice. So anyway, um, be careful about your targets, especially if you are a newer player. If you're a newer player, uh, definitely watch out for those locations where um, I assume that if someone's done it before that target, why would they stop? Because a target really doesn't care. Uh, well, I know Walmart doesn't care. Uh, they don't pay their employees enough to care, I guess. Um, I, I don't know, I think Target, even if they did pay them enough, like how are they, they're probably not expert magic players or they don't have enough experience to know something is wrong. But anyway, uh, be careful about that. It's not just packs, it's sealed product. It, I've seen um, commander decks with the wrong commanders in front. I've seen all types of really just weird stuff at Target like and Walmart. But today, like I guess I'll title it Target because both of these, all these images and the Reddit posts are from Target, relating to Target. So I'm not going to um, title it Walmart Advanced Scam, although I kind of want to. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.